Hey guys, Pip here, and welcome back to another YouTube video. And today it's going to be something a little different. We're going to stare at a cobblestone wall for the entire video. I'm serious. That's what we're doing. No, I'm kidding, no. If I step back, we I'm going to be showing you some apocalypse build tips. Like for nuke... For no... For two types, there's going to be a solar apocalypse and, like, an infected apocalypse, like zombies and all that stuff. So, I'm going to head over to the landscape right now. I'm not looking at anything. Okay. So, this is the infect inf infected landscape. So, this is basically a bunch of gray infected matter. And, yeah. It's really cool because... I've had this idea for a while, but I haven't had a YouTube for a while. And basically, what's inside it is dried dead brain coral, dead tube coral, dead bubble coral, dead fire coral, dead horn coral, and gravel. And basically, if you mix all those together in the right amount of space, it actually looks like a cool apocalyptic ground. I'm thinking of importing this to Isle of Pip in a section. I'm gonna block the thing off into sections. And next we have the, lands the solar landscape. So this is what it looks like. So the solar, solar would be sun, and sun would be hot. So basically, all that ozone layer and stuff, it would make... Global warming would destroy the planet. That's basically the idea of a solar apocalypse. So I have, um, I forgot. I have terracotta, light gray terracotta, red sand, and nether rack, just to symbolize some things. And I am thinking of putting dead bushes in this. I might not, but I'm going to, uh, where are we? Okay, there we are. I'm going to go back behind here, and I'm going to head over to the, there's three sections, there's landscape, there's trees, and then there's shelter. So these are the, this are the, this is the, um, tree for the solar apocalypse. It is basically a bunch of stripped wood put up into a little tree formation. And I got this idea from a thumbnail in one of Log.Zip's videos, but it was oak wood. And since the aquatic update came out, I used stripped um, oak wood and stripped jungle wood, so there's no need to look into the chest. And that's basically that. And then I have the infected tree. So basically, infected means it looks all infected and stuff. And Strip Birch actually does a really, really good job at this. Like, better than I could ever do. About, about. And then I have, um, Tiag leaves and jungle leaves to make it look like this Tiag is, like, taking over the jungle part of the tree. Lag. Gosh. Dang it. I'm going... Now I'm... Oh, and to use that just stripped birch wood and the two leaves that I mentioned already. Sorry for looking, I just didn't want to spoil anything of the stuff, but we've seen almost all of this stuff. So these are the shelters. So this is um, the solar apocalypse shelter. And so it's basically a, like, tarp shelter... And I was thinking of putting, like, beams over the roof, like, wood beams, like, in the movie Mad Max, which I have not seen, but I've seen a bunch of previews, and I want to see it! So, yeah, this is my day. We've got, like, we got, we got some of them juke boxes. I meant no blocks, and we have anvils and stuff. And this is a really cool idea I found out. There's actually no way you can get into this space except for a door or an ender pearl. So I tried to apply that to the next one. And I have this basically sandstone slab tarp tarpish thing. And also for the walls I used acacia trap doors because they like the acacia doors which make it look really really cool actually. So that's that. And then this is the infected shelter. If you ever see any of the infected things, like... 
kind of like Rust. I don't know. I forgot the name of the other one. I've been watching a YouTuber play it. But basically, it's all like made out of scra scavenged materials. So I have like some rails over here and some. I, I kind of went for the wood tarp style, except it's wood. And then I put a bunch of banners in it to make it look like it was like sheltered off. And also, these carpets have um, fence gates underneath them. So there's no way you can get into the house from those sides. You can only go through in through this banner. And also has a furnace and stuff. And I forgot to look back at this thing. This thing has um, no blocks, anvils, wood fence, uh, wood fence door, red sandstone slabs, acacia trap doors, and I have one torch in it. This one doesn't have any torches. And it says banner, gray banners, um, oak wood fences, spruce, no, jungle wood slabs, torches, carpet, dark oak slabs, and rails. And I forgot to include the furnace, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, this is all the apocalyptic stuff. So if you were to put this tree right here onto here and then put the shelter right there onto here it would make a really cool setting and if you were to put that tree onto this and then that shelter onto that it would also in my opinion look pretty cool like this is any radiant thing or anything this is completely my opinion so if you want me to do more of these build tips and tricks and stuff you don't have to build this exactly this is mainly just to give you inspiration for other builds because I'm not the best builder. Like I ain't no green or fire care or any of those other big Minecrafters. So if you're new, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, like the video, comment down below some other ideas, and I will see you next time. Bye.